Hi, welcome to Arch Labs Yoda 4.1. We're gonna make a uh, tutorial about how to tweak, uh, what to change, what's important, that kind of tutorial. I've already spoken about some of the things that are important, so maybe you're hearing the same if you're listening to the others. But it's important to know where are all, all the, where are all the elements you can change and what makes it tick. What's the spirit? What's the what's the soul of Arch Labs? And that's the possibility to change it in any way you want it. So this is the Tin 2 panel. We have four desktops. We can change those as we speak. Let's do this straight away. So Tin 2, we can choose Tin 2, edit Tin 2, but mostly I go over here, which is for me an overview of everything we have. And when it says here Arch Labs, and then it, it's really made and created by us for you. Like for instance, the Nemesis, haven't shown that one or another tutorial. So this one is called the Nemesis, which is also the name for my GitHub. And this is the way I want it, for instance. So we have here two and three and four. But when we start a program here, like so, then it will get some more space. You see, we have here a longer four. And when you get rid of it and close it, yeah, thank you. Then it be like this. So these are all preferences you should change. Please do. Uh, so when you double click any of these uh, uh, settings, you can change any and all of these elements. And that's probably interesting to follow one of my tutorials about that. But it's straightforward, it's intuit intuitive, just change one thing, apply and see what happens and you'll figure it out, no problem. So that's TIN2. So we've changed this one over here. Can we change this one over here? The system info. Yes, we can. So we go to the conkeys. The conkeys are over here. And uh, most of the time I go to the conkey chooser. I say, I don't want to see this one, which is this one. And then we have a look around, whatever thing we have here. And we can go, for instance, for, I don't know, let's say this one as well. This is a strange one, watch out. So this is a Conky gold logo. This is a gold logo. When we add this one, it's, it's going to add a logo on top of a logo. So if we take another wallpaper, then you know what I mean. Let's take a nice one. They're all kind of shortcuts. You really should check out this one. Guys from i3 and other tiling managers will know how important it is to have shortcuts. So there are many shortcuts that I moved and migrated from there. With old arrow, we have a next one, the next one, and old previous, previous, the previous one, and the next one, next one. And you just choose whatever you want to look at for the day and then you have your latest wallpaper so that's that actually this image is a conkey so any wallpaper you like you can put it on top and then you have something nice so that's that let's take something else to end with um, the skeleton for instance okay there you go, a lot of information that's available. You can see the version, you can see the arch kernel and all that. Some things must be changed, like the speed here, the ethernet. Um, if you do ifconfig, you'll see information about the IP and all that. So we have to change that. And the name you should change it into is ENPOS3 and change it in here. So where do we change this? Um, we go to the conkey, edit the conkeys, running conkeys, and there we have it. And then you go down here, some, you type something like Ethernet or ETH is probably enough. I know if that still exists. No, I've used probably an ENP as well already here. There you go. So these things should be changed to the hardware name you have. You can edit any of these, but that's going too far for my overview. So we have a conkey, we have a wallpaper that, that we've changed. We can also change wallpapers here, choose wallpaper. I say, no, no, I'm gonna scroll over it. I say, I wanna go with the angel girl, apply, and it will be that. So 
we've now decided to take this one and this one is a provider that's going to that can be set that doesn't need to be you can change the wallpaper every five seconds and start and you can put extra favorite wallpapers you can extra maps and so on and so on okay that's another tutorial that can follow on youtube so that's a variety for you the conkeys and then we go to the the plank for instance why not we press the plank we can use the plank if you want to this is our plank the setting is like so don't want it i want it like so and we can change maybe also the look something like that looks nice so we have a plank we have alt f3 we have a menu like so and we have Control spacebar, menu like so. Chromium, it's all, doesn't matter how you get there. It's all a program, all a way to start your applications. You choose whatever you like. And lots of applications or shortcuts like this one, starts Firefox, and so on. This one is a volume control, and so on. Do check them out, the shortcuts. Then let's go ahead further for the how to tweak the system. Tweaking are the, the most important files of Openbox are these three. You can edit them. It's text, XML text. You just copy, paste and change lines. And you can edit the auto start, the menu editor, which is the same as graphical user interface for this one, and a graphic user interface with configuration tool and the key binds, which is a graphical one for that one. But this one is a quite interesting tool. You can change here your theme already. Let's say we want to go arc dark, arc crimson dark. Let's do this one. And I want the menu to be a little bit bigger. This one is going to be a little bit bigger, like so. And that's about it, I think. Don't do anything more there. Um, not much. We can change fonts as well, of course. But that's... I don't change anything here anymore. Then I go to... Yeah, Alex Appearance is a good place to start. R Crimson Dark. Let's open the file manager. So the file manager is still white. But this one changed. That's a nice look. And the color and icon theme. Let's change the icon theme to I don't know, surfing, Numix Polo, orange, misty, Numix gray, or whatever you like. Papyrus blue, why not? Let's take Papyrus blue. The mouse cursor, as you can see, the wallpaper has changed, courtesy of variety. When you move to the corner, you see that we move from desktop to desktop. If you don't like this one, do the next one. And we have now this one. I'm going to choose another cursor. Apply it. Window border. Don't forget to apply the window border. Because these are two separate things. Not most distros. It's not uh, possible to change. I have to have different look here. So you have to keep in mind to come here. and Change it as well and the font and other and that's it still this looks okay if you want it uh, but we chose another icon set another for folders and where is this in here so xfce and tunar tunar is part of a part of xfce so we need to change those things here so arc is not correct arc crimson dark that's correct Icons are not correct either, and uh, I thought we decided on not surfing love. I don't know anymore. Surfing something. Papyrus blue. That's the one we chosen. No, it doesn't look too bad. So okay, that's that. Fonts eventually a bit bigger if you want to, and close. And then we open again because there was one icon that's not correct. This was this one, and this is how it looked it will look okay so we've 
changed we went in this one don't want to do that then on tint and we've done that as well this one that one light dm appearance is is when you are greeted but i always use my auto login so i never see it so it's um it's nice it's okay but um if you want to change anything here you can do so and then the slim appearance is for the lock if you lock your system you in, you have uh, now the possibility current theme is now random so randomly choose from that one that one or that one then this happens when you press um, super L and that's the look we have here now and if we don't want to have that look then there is an alternative we have a new package for you guys that you should install it and that's uh, Packer Arch Labs everything starts with Arch Labs meaning the Yoda release you know the 4.1 is a rolling release well we have all these packages here we'll update the packages and you'll get the updates in that's how it will work in the future so it's actually going to be a real rolling release and we need number three the slim themes and say okay stall it a new theme I like a new theme what's happening he's going to install it yep done what happens nothing happens sure super L and there you go it's a random going to look at how do I close it and I'm in luck because those were the three that uh, have been created until now I will create surely more and updates so that was this one the slim themes wallpapers you know how to do it and regarding theming I believe we are done talking so I guess the the last thing to do is to remind you of the essence, the importance and the available availability of uh, scripts here. So this is your heart of your system, open box. Um, and in here we have scripts to make your life easier and we'll surely add more. If things pop up, then we can make an easy script to run and that will save us time. So enjoy Arch Labs. I hope you um, got an overview of how to tweak and change and um, of course you can change completely this menu i've shown you guys how to change the standard menu to a generated menu in another tutorial but it's that quickly and that fast and that easy that i'll just show you again here it's so fun to have uh, to be able to switch so quickly between a standard menu and a generated one which is going to get it the information from a uh, program and this is our generated menu so it's that quick to have another menu why another menu because in here you'll see every application that's on your system is in there everyone okay so it's an updated generated menu generated pipe menu is i think believe what we have put it on standard but we can have also icons if you do like them the icons you can have as an icon in your menu so that's uh, about it i think we covered all elements tin 2 the conkey the menus the planks and all the possibilities enjoy arch linux show us some nice desktops on google plus and come join us and if there are problems go to the forums go to the google plus and ask us we have included uh, things to help you uh, to tell us what's going wrong there is inc minus f which tells us something about your system we have a peak which is a program that is going to record whatever that's inside here to show us what's going on in your system so use them and ask them on forums we are all eager to help you okay now, last thing we have to do is press Ctrl F and Firefox to exit our full screen mode and then stop the tutorial.